What's up guys? Uh, this is the next tutorial in the Top Down Shooter series. We're going to cover how to do some basic projectiles. We're going to make some missiles and fire them from the ship and make them hit things. So the first thing we're going to need is a missile. So let's make a sphere and shrink it down. Stretch it out a little bit and that's going to be our projectile. So we're going to put the locomotion on the actual projectile. The ship is going to uh, create an object when you push a button. And when this thing spawns, it's going to have its own uh, force pushing it forward. So let's add an FSM to it. <coughs> and put an add force action on it. Well, this will be a physics-based missile. So we'll need a rigid body. Just click here and it throws one on there. We don't want it to fall with gravity, so we're going to turn that off. And then we're going to tell it we want, uh, let's say, 5 on the Z. You're going to do it in self-space. And you're going to do impulse. You're going to do it every frame. All right. So this just tells it that and add this much force forward um, every frame. Pretty simple. The missile is going to go forward. So let's name it and drag it up here to make a prefab out of it. And now we got our missile prefab. We can delete the one out of the scene and go to the captain and let's make a new FSM just to handle firing. So create a new FSM name it combat and the first thing we want to do is check for the trigger being down that was going to be the mouse button in our case so we're going to look for uh, get mouse button down alright now we're going to have to send to an event so we're going to make a new event it's going to be fires and missiles Add new state, connect the event, and tell it to send it here. So when the left mouse button is clicked, it's going to fire off this event and land over here. Now in this state, after you push a trigger, obviously you're going to want to create a missile, so we can use create object for that. And it's going to ask us for an object and a spawn point. So let's use the mega missile prefab we made and let's create a new spawn point so that we can just use an empty game object for this name it spawn point and put it under the ship stuff object so that it follows the orientation of the ship so when the ship turns this thing stays in place let's put it out front get it about where we want it and that's good now back to the captain We'll just drag the spawn point right over here. And that should be all there is to instantiating the object. We'll name this state spawner. And we're going to add another state down here. Call it loop. Looper. When we're done creating the object, we'll come down here to looper and this is going to cycle back in this system. So just just to explain where we're going with this, uh, this state over here is just going to check when the player pushes the mouse button down. The, the idea is we want to be able to hold the mouse button down, just fire missiles, a whole bunch of missiles, based on a cycle time. So you know missiles can only fire like every one-tenth of a second or something. So they'll click the mouse button, and then now they're going to be in this loop and we're going to design what we want to happen inside this loop in these states right here. So first thing that happens is it creates the object. Now we got to check if they're still holding the mouse button down. So let's do get mouse button and we're going to store it. This is this is not the same action as before. This is get mouse button. This uses a boolean. So it just figures out if the mouse is clicked or not and then stores the result as a 1 or a 0 in a boolean. So let's make a new boolean. Let's call it uh, trigger status. 
So get mouse button, store it in trigger status, and then we don't want to leave this state immediately. We have to have some sort of delay before we go to the next state. So let's use a wait command and say we want to do it every one tenth. So point one there. And then when it's finished, let's actually make a, a done event. And while we're here, let's make a loop event. So now it's going to create the object. It's going to look to see if the mouse button is still down and update this boolean. And then while doing that, it's going to be uh, using this delay. So after that delay is up, it's going to be done. So let's add done here. Drag it down to looper. We can actually get rid of this finished one. And now when it's finished, it's going to go down here. Now we can just do a bool test to see what the trigger status is when they left this spawner. And if it's true, we're going to loop. And if it's false, we're going to be done. We're going to, well, we actually only need to do it once. So let's add the loop event and let's add the done. Loop will go to here and done will go back to here and look for the trigger. So let's look at how this is going to work. State 1, we're going to get the mouse button. If somebody clicks the mouse button, it's going to fire this event off and go to spawner. Spawner is going to create an object. Then it's going to start to check if the mouse button is down. Oops. It's going to be doing this uh, constantly, every frame. And then uh, when the elapsed time is up, it's going to say, you know, we can fire another missile. So it goes down here and says, is the mouse button still down? If it is, then it goes back and fires it again. If it's not, then it just goes back to here. Pretty simple little system. Let's see how it works. There we go. Check that out. Glorious little dart things everywhere. This is awesome. What have we created? You let go, and it's done. Isn't that fun to watch? Just look down there and just watch that thing. I just like watching it. So there you go. Now you've got some uh, cool little projectiles. But there's no collision set up. So let's uh, close this tutorial out and move on to the next one.